What happened when you first met Dre? I went into a studio. Um, I didn't have any tapes or, of CDs, dats, or anything to play him tracks. But he's like, I heard you real nice on the pianos. I played piano for him, and he said, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> okay. And now how long were you guys working together until you started working on 2001? Uh, we worked on Chronic 2001 the very first day, the very next day after I met him. Okay. And we did Big Egos that very first day. Aha. Yeah. Okay. And then we spent years. years. Okay. And on 2001, you produced Big Egos, you did Still DRE. Mm -hmm. What else? I participated in Make a Whole Housewife and Explosive and uh, many, um, a lot of records, you know, like Murder Inc. Um, so did you, would you say you co-produced that album? I was a part of the production of it, yeah. I mean, even though it was more of a writer, uh, keyboard player thing where I was writing the songs, um, you know, in theory, uh, yes, I was producing. Okay. And later so on, I grew into that. And then later on, the songs we did, um, like You Got Me, or not You Got Me, like uh, Let Me Blow Your Mind and stuff like that for Eve and Gwen Stefani, like those records were all co-production with me and Dre. Okay. You know? Now, Still DRE, that became the first single. Mm -hmm. When you guys did it, we were like, oh, this is, this is the one? Or was it like, We I, knew it was the one immediately when I started playing the, the riff. You know, the, okay. Yeah. As soon as you had the riff, everyone just went crazy. Yeah. Okay. So you put the beat together, and then Jay-Z actually did the lyrics. Yeah. Dre was like, yo, this beat's crazy. Jay's supposed to do something for me. I think this is the one. Jay loved it, sent it back. So you sent the track to, J to Jay. Jay did uh, basically a reference track? Yeah. Was it the exact same track or did Dre kind of put a change? Dre, Dre added and changed, you know, he's very creative, Dre. So he, uh, he's, very, um, he's very into expression when it comes to his rapping. Like he'll put a lot of expression into things and, and, and really pronounce things and exaggerate it and just, just makes it more memorable. He's, he's good at that. People don't even realize that it's a process. So Dre laid down the track where you guys like, okay, this is, mm -hmm. this is the one. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the lead single off of this The return album. of Snoop and Dre. Right. Yeah, because right, Snoop is on it also. Yeah. So d did Snoop use the reference track at all or did he just kind of play around? No, Snoop did his thing. And then, you know, as far as the hook was, yeah, that was etched in stone. Okay. So you nine put, five plus nine, what do you say? Nine 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 five plus four pennies. Right. <laughs> so, how much after that did uh, the rest of the uh, did it take you know to finish off the rest of the album? Was that near um, the end or uh, we spent we spent a couple of years. A couple of years after that. Yeah. Oh, so you guys were just sitting on still DRE for years. Oh no no no, still Dre came. I'm saying we took a couple of years to make the album. That song came third quarter. Third quarter. Third or fourth. Okay, so there was what another six months or so yeah. of finishing up. Yeah. My dog's photo bombing. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Um, when, when the album was about to drop, did you think this was going to be as big as it ended up being? Yeah, I, I had hopes for it, but I didn't realize how, just how big it was going to be. Right, it because became the, a catalog album. The, the Chronic was a monster. Yeah. I mean, if you were to say, you know, I mean, I don't know if you could be objective about it because you worked on 2001. What would you say is the better album? The Chronic or 2001? Oh, uh, they're both magic. You know, The Chronic paved the way for, for what the 2001 became. And yeah, 2001 was, yeah, it was a monster. Yeah. It was a monster. And the sound kind of changed as well. Yeah, evolved. sonically, it was, we took it to another level. Yeah. I mean, Dre, um, he's obsessive in his mix, you know. Yeah. Obsessive. Are you at all disappointed that like the Compton album isn't doing what like 2001 or The Chronic did? Because, I think it's Because that's what really, people were waiting it, for. That's a soundtrack to Dre. That's not, that's not the, the third Chronic album. Right, that's that, was a soundtrack. To, that was Detox. And that's a, that's a side project that's like his, his pet project. That was a movie soundtrack. Okay. Um, I know when Dre digs into a, an album, and I know he is right now currently uh, working in the studio, 
Um, I'm sure he's coming up with some crazy shit for that album. I mean, I like Compton, but I didn't like it as much as 2001. Of course, it's not the same you know, thing. You know, just keeping it 100. <laughs> Plus, I wasn't on it. Yeah, you know? Um, now, you and Dre at one point had a falling out. Yeah. What do you think caused it in retrospect? Um, probably my drug problems. <laughs> um, I've, I have a, a very good feeling about me and Dre in the future. We're going to get back and do some more stuff together. I'm out in California now. It's like it only makes sense. But, uh, you know. I mean, when you say your drug problems. I burnt a lot of bridges in, in, um, with my drug use and pissed a lot of people off. And, I mean, was there know, a specific situation that, that happened between you and Dre? Not necessarily so much. I think it was just enough is enough at this point, you know. Were you, like, not showing up to sessions or that type of thing? Just being fucked up, yeah. Not being all I could be. Now those days are over. Everything moves on and things work, have a way of working out. Time heals all wounds. Well, after 2001 came out and everyone, you know, would you say everyone started fucking with you after 2001? Like, I mean, yeah, it was definitely a, uh, a license to ill. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Him kind of crying and me crying. So, you know, I mean, it just, it was no more the words. A couple of days later, they tell me he died. How did you feel when they... Um, they said that. I mean, did you know that he was gonna die with it? No. Nah. the tubes? No. 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 Uh. Give me a second. Uh. To go through all you went through, and your end result is being killed in a drive-by affiliation is like is like way beyond the aspect of 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 because you could have been here and left a a way better mark. <laughs> 